Hello and welcome to Color It Live. I'm Nyla. This is where we talk about all things Color It and showcase the ways that you free your creativity every day. Now, not only are we going to be sharing who the um, December Fan of the Month was, we are also going to be giving away four different color Colorful Seasons coloring books. And the only thing that you have to do to be able to win is to share this video, put it on your timeline, share it with friends, let everybody know you're watching. And that is how you will get entered in the giveaway. And we'll be giving that away every 15 minutes. So stay to the very end because you never know. It might be you. So hello. I'm going to look and see who's all here. Hi, Jolie. Hi, Jennifer. There's Brenda Green. Hello. Hi, Don. So it's really cold here in Missouri. So cold that we had to cancel school. But can you believe this? It's supposed to be 60 by the weekend. So typical Missouri weather. Hi, Shirley. Thank you for sharing. My son is here tonight. He's going to try helping me with the different things that you chime in. So you have, if you have a question, he's going to try to get my attention and hopefully we can answer it. So again, uh, the giveaway tonight is Colorful Seasons Coloring Book. And uh, all you got to do is share to be entered into the giveaway. All right, so let's go ahead and start looking at our submissions. Or your submissions, actually. All right, Freebie Friday submissions. So this is what we colored last week. You can get this at colorit.com or you can sign up for the newsletter and they'll send it to you automatically. All right, the first one is from Cindy Roth. I love everything about this picture. It's really, it's so pretty. I love the mountains in the background with the snow and I love how your water looks like it sparkles against the sun and your eagles are flying high and majestic and everything is just the colors go so well together and then you have that splash of green from the trees and the grass so as always Cindy you did a good job next up is Navon Webster and first thing I notice is the glitter coming from Faith and some of the other places it really stands out I love the glitter it glitter gel pens they really make a picture pop and Navon you did a very good job with this picture I like the earth tones in the mountains I like the greens and the trees but I especially love that detail that you put in that glitter it really makes the picture pop so thank you very much for sending that in all right this uh, freebie Friday was from a week or two ago and this is from Pam Lindy I believe these dogs are chows and they are doing perfectly fine out in this weather because look at all of that fluff they are definitely fluffy I love this picture I like how you did the frame in gold and silver and then you got the flowers on the sides that stand out and their pink little tongues sticking out that's so cute definitely they are not minding this winter weather at all it doesn't even look like it's phasing them so very good job Pam Next one is Sandy Pottenberg. First thing I noticed is the way that you colored the word, the, the, the lettering. I like how you did the yellow on top and the red on the bottom. It's almost like the sun is hitting it from above. And since it's an aerial shot, it's very fitting. Your eagles are also flying majestically. And I like how you did the different colors of trees. You know, we don't, there's no rules to coloring. And, and when you try to express your creativity, Sometimes the rules get broken and they come out looking good, just like this, Sandy. So good job. Hi, Kristen from Cali. Hi, Cindy Smith. Next, we have Vivian Robinson. This is from Dogs Everyone's Best Friend. And this was a freebie Friday a couple weeks ago. And these, ch these chows look just as happy. I love that you did the purple tongue. I think that's something that is... Uh, a trademark of the chows I believe they do have a purplish tongue and so I like how you added that little detail and the frames got a little bit of purple in it but then the rest of its green and red 
the different colors that you've used and all of it just goes together really nice and those chows look pretty comfy out in that snow all right next we have our random submissions now remember if you guys want to see your coloring on Facebook on color it live all you have to do is email it to support at color and say that you want your picture featured on color it live and they will get it up there as soon as they can okay you guys will have to remind me when the 15 minutes is coming up so let's look at these random submissions all right we got cherry Verabel. if i butcher your names i am extremely sorry i'm not good with names at all but cherry chose a picture from colors of inspiration and automatically you see the title of the picture be bold and that's exactly what cherry did here the black behind the lettering really makes that stand out and then i love how her lipstick tube is so detailed and she match the lipstick tube to the colors in the background so it all just kind of comes together into a very nice picture love it a lot good job cherry all right next we have ellen hoffman and this is from blissful scenes and the first thing i notice is the puppy <laughs> i love dogs and he's so happy with his little red tongue out but then I noticed the beautiful beach in the back background. You got the ocean, you got the sand, you got palm trees that would be perfect to set under. This definitely is a blissful scene. And Ellen, you did a great job with all the different colors of flowers. You got purple, you got pink, you got red. I love those red, red tulips on the side. You really, really put in a lot of time and effort on this picture and it definitely shows. It looks really good, Ellen, thank you. Next, we have Julie Cranich, and this is from Colorful Seasons. And I am loving all of the different air balloons here. I have actually been on an air balloon once, and that was a long time ago, and it was, it was really fun. But Julie, you did a great job here. The bright blue sky in the background, the big white fluffy clouds, and every air balloon has its own special color and detail and some of them have all different kinds of shades of green like this one or this pink one over here has all different kinds of pink and the one here in the middle has all different colors i like the blues and the oranges and the greens so you did a really good job with this i really like it it just makes you want to go get in a balloon and fly thank you very much julie Next, we have Christian or Kristen, sorry, Rule, and this is from Colorful Unicorns. And of course, the first thing that I notice is the purple unicorn. Very, very pretty. I love that. And then the fairies are all coming with flowers to decorate the mane of the, the unicorn. I love their blue wings and their different colored outfits and hair. And the flowers and I love that dark blue navy background it really makes all of the all of the colors and everything just pop all right moving on good job Kristen thank you all right next is Laura Jean Motherway and this is from colors of the ocean hi Eddie hi Sherry hi Judy glad you guys could all make it all right, so we have, and all of a sudden, I for, an anchor. I almost forgot what this was. This is an anchor, and there is so much going on with this anchor. I love that you did it in gold. That really pops out there at the bottom, and then there's all kinds of vegetation and um, different things from the ocean on this anchor. Looks like up top here we have a seashell, and I like that it's orange and red and pink. We got these little blue squiggly things we got lots of different kinds of kelp and all the different colors there is not anything here that you missed you made everything stand out and it looks awesome Laura Jean thank you for sharing all right color it weekly theme challenge 
first, let me tell you about what the Color It Weekly theme challenge is. It is a group here on Facebook. It's called Color It Coloring Books Group. And it's a group for people who love all things Color It. And you can post um, pictures that you are coloring or that pictures that you have finished. And there are a lot of great people in this group. And one thing about them is they are always ready to offer advice. If you have any questions, they have the answers. And of course, they're always there to encourage you. But what this weekly theme challenge is, is it's ran by Nicole. She does one every week and it's always different. Sometimes it's sunsets, sometimes it's mountains or your favorite animal. So let's say that um, it's sunset. What you would do is you'd go through the Color It books and you would find a sunset and you would color it and then you would post it under the event. And when you do that, Nicole assigns you a number and then she draws numbers at the end of the week and those are the ones that will be featured on Color It Live. So make sure you go to that coloring group. It's really fun. Everyone there is so nice. They always are ready to show the love to all things Color It. So let's look at mythical creatures. That's the challenge that was this week. All right, we got Anita Scott, and this is from Colorful Unicorns. We have a very happy unicorn dancing with this fawn over here. And yes, I had to look that up. I could not remember what the half goat, half person was, but that is a fawn. And I really like how you did this picture. I like the red and the purple. I think those go really good together. And if you look really close at some of these places that you colored, I can tell that you used glitter pens. Like here, back behind the fawn, there's some glitter. And then the tree beside the unicorn, it shows, it looks like there's glitter to me. And I love how you did the different plants. You did the different greens. You put a lot of effort into all the details here. But I especially love how that purple and that orange go together. So they look like a very happy duo dancing here. So thank you, Anita. Next, we got Brenda Green. This is from Mythical and Fantasy. We got two leprechauns here, both wearing their leprechaun hats and their belt buckles and their buckled shoes and the striped socks. And you made sure that you colored them in all different kinds of greens, which is really good. And then you have the pot of gold at the bottom of the rainbow. They are watching over it because they don't want us to take it. That's what they do. But I love how the gold coins stand out and you can see them on the ground. Some are falling out. And if you look really carefully in the back on that mountain, you see Ireland's flag, which I think is a cool detail that color added. And Brenda did not miss it at all. All right, let's pause this for a moment and let's go back to me. I have the first winner. Okay, so the first winner for tonight who's going to win Colorful Seasons Coloring Book is Penny Lavalley. Lavalley, I'm not sh quite sure how to pronounce that, but Color It will put a, your name in the link. So all you have to do is send an email to support at colorit.com and they will send you your book. So congratulations on winning, Penny. You're going to love that book. It's got so many different things to color in it. All right, so back to our submissions. Back to Brenda Green's Leprechauns trying to hide that pot of gold from us. But again, I really like your details here, Brenda. I like all the different colors. You did a really good job. Okay, we got another Brenda. This is Brenda Reed. I'm gonna take a sip here real quick. And this is from Mythical and Fantasy also. This is so pretty. I love the green and the oranges. They're they go together really well, especially against that dark blue sky in the background. She looks like it's she's pretty well covered with this mushroom. 
but you did a really good job. I like the different colors of green. I like her little yellow outfit where you've got all the shading where it's supposed to be. And the flowers, they're orange and they're brown. It's just a really pretty picture, Brenda. And I really like how you did it. It's very, very good. Then we have Diana Gonzalez, another one from Mythical and Fantasy. And this is a pretty fairy swinging on a rope swing on a tree. I love your pink outfit. You got the pinks and the mauves. I like the the pink, bright pink lace, the, the top ribbons, upper legs. I like that. I love her black hair. That really stands out. You don't see a lot of people color black hair. Your trees have all the different browns in it. And then your flowers are so pretty. You got purple, you got indigo, you got dark purple, and then you got blues here at the bottom. So it's just a really pretty picture and she looks like she is just enjoying her swing and just going back and forth and enjoying the peace and the scenery. So did a really good job, Diana. Jeremiah says, I have a question. Yeah, it's not a question, it's just um, someone's. Um, someone says that um, Nina Booth Pond she says, hello, this is my first time being on here. All right. Well, welcome to Color It Live. Thanks for joining us. This is my second show, so I appreciate everyone coming and seeing. All right. Our next one is Doreen Babb. Again, this is from Mythical and Fantasy, and this is also a girl that has the large mushroom. The first thing I notice about this is the background that sky i don't know if you used glitter or metallic but it really makes the the sky look like it's raining it's so shimmering it's so pretty it doesn't look like a that you would be too scared in this rainstorm and i like all the different colors of greens and then you got your purple and your pink that kind of pop out but i especially love your background there doreen i really like how that that shimmers it's really pretty All right, next we have Jolie Johnson. This is from Colorful Unicorns. We got two uniforms setting, looks like maybe she's a princess, but they're setting by a fountain. I love that the unicorns have the gold horn and their manes match, but their bodies are a different color. I like how you did that. I really like how you did the fountain. You can see the water coming and you can see it spilling over and you really, did a really good job with that because it actually looks like moving water and I love your butterflies and your birds and I love these orange flowers right here they kind of look like they sparkle too but maybe that's just my imagination I see the sparkle and everything so <laughs> I don't know but very good job Jolie I really enjoy that picture and your princess is beautiful Christina Russell this I think is one of my favorite pictures in mythical and fantasy um, I love this picture. I've done it more than once. And Christina, you have done a spectacular job. First thing I love is how you did the night sky and all the stars are out. And then when you look at the fairy, her dress is so pretty. It's got the blue and the pink, but if you look real close, you can see little white dots around the, ed the edgings of her dress and of her wings. That is such a nice detail. And then on her feet and on her wrist, it looks like there's these little red dots that kind of look like, you know, henna tattoos. So she spared no expense. She did detail and then she added her own details. So she definitely freed her creativity with this picture. I love the different greens of the leaves and the flowers. You did a really good job here, Christina. Very, very good job. Next, we have Mary Richmond from Mythical and Fantasy, and we have a little baby dragon that just hatched. This picture is so cute. I love the different pastels. You got pink, you got purple, you got green, and all of it blended, and it just makes it all look so pretty. And I don't know, there might be a little bit of shine to that egg in the background. You might have used glitter gel pens, but um, everything looks really good, and I really like that purple and the pink and how the the dragon's eyes are green so it kind of pops out very good job Mary love your picture 
oh, <laughs> and me, I forgot that I had submitted to this contest. Um, this is from Mythical and Fantasy. This is my mermaid. I use markers and uh, colored pencils, and then I use um, a white gel pen to add a little bit of um, detail. Decided to do a like a sunset in the background. I'm, I'm, it's not my favorite, but I think it turned out okay. All right, look at this. This is another, this is probably like my second favorite from Mythical and Fantasy. We got Medusa. And she looks like she could turn a lot of men to stone with those green eyes. I love her eyes, how intense they are. I love the, red, the green lips and her green shade of skin and these snakes that she's got all around her. Uh, Tamara, sorry, this is Tamara. Uh, Farley, sorry Tamara, I forgot to tell your name. This is your piece, this is your work. And you did a really good job. I like the navy blue background, makes the greens in Medusa pop out. And I like how you did her, um, it looks like some kind of like a, a upside down crown, but the headpiece there is gold and silver. And again, she just, she got that look that, you know, could definitely turn men to stone if they, they caught attention and she got to look at them straight in the eye. So good job, Tamara, as always. Love to see your pictures. Okay, next we have December Fan of the Month winners. First, I wanted to explain a little bit about Fan of the Month. Um, Color It hosts every month does a Fan of the Month contest. Sometimes there's a theme or you um, have to choose a picture from a certain book or you have to use a certain medium. Like in, I believe in January, there you, everyone is supposed to use Color It's watercolor brush pens. So what you do is you um, color your picture and you send it in and there are three ways to enter. You can either go to Color It on Facebook and post in their community page. Make sure you put the hashtag MyColorIt and also put the hashtag Fan of the Month. Or you can go to colorit.com and go to their blog. And in their news, if you scroll down or look to the right, you'll find where you can enter the fan of the month. But the easiest way is just to send it in an email to support at colorit.com with fan of the month as the title. And they will get it, it posted and put in with the drawing. And what Color It does is they choose six winners total. Three are selected by the Color It staff. They have a certain criteria, and when they see three pictures that meet that, those become three winners. And then the other three are randomly chosen. And each of the winners wins a $25 gift card to Color It. And um, they are showcased on their blog and also here on Color It Live, as we are about to see. So let's look and see who the Fan of the Month winners are. Okay, first we have Amy Willoughby. And this is uh, from the Christmas coloring book. And I love how you uh, did the, the yellow in the background, because it really makes the red and the, the green and the white stand out. I can see that the Christmas tree inside is all decorated and ready to go. The whole picture just looks really warm and bright and inviting. It's like you're ready to go in and celebrate Christmas with the family. You did a really good job, Amy. Congratulations on winning one of the Fan of the Month. Next, we have Cheryl Walker. We have Santa Claus and his wife, Miss San Mrs. Santa Claus. And they look like they're very happy doing a little dance probably after Christmas is over. They get to celebrate. But I like that you did the bright, the dark blue in the background makes the snow stand out. And then you got the snow on the trees and the trees are shaded with different greens. And I like that you did kind of like a bronze frame around it with the browns, makes it look really pretty. All in all, it goes really well together. So congratulations, Cheryl, on winning one of the Fan of the Month positions. 
Okay, next we have Denise Marcelino. And this is really, really pretty. I like the reds and the mauves with that green. And then you got that yellow star on top, really stands out. And then you got those two really pretty bluebirds. They look very happy. I really, really like this. I like the how the ribbon is just so smooth as it glides down the page. It's just, it, it's a very simple picture, but you put a lot of detail in and the shading and things, and it just makes everything pop. So good job. And congratulations. And also we got Melissa. Congratulations, Melissa Wright. This is a lot of candy here, a lot of details, and you didn't miss any of it. Some of it looks like it sparkles, like the heart there on top and the purple. And you mixed it all up really well. You have all kinds of color here. I like the candy cane here. The red and white stands out. I like the purple star in the middle. And that lollipop looks delicious. So congratulations, Melissa, on winning. I hope you enjoy your $25 gift card. Next, we have Robin Northup. And she did the snowman and snowman, sorry, and snow woman. I like how they each have their little outfits. The, the snowman's in blue and the snow woman is in pink. I like your frame, how you mixed all of the colors that you used in the main scene. You put in the frame, that red cardinal there at the bottom. And you see that they each have an ornament. One's a gold heart ornament and one is a star, a golden star ornament. So these are two very happy snow people and the birds are enjoying their company and they all just seem to be having a really good winter day. So congratulations, Robin, You're, you did a really good job. Enjoy your gift card to color it. And now we have Charlene Evans. And here we have all different kinds of uh, stockings. And Charlene has made each one an individual piece of art here. I first see the purple one, of course. I love how you did that. And I love this blue with the red hearts. It really stands out. And then, of course, the traditional red and green one with the holly looks really pretty. And then you got the, the different flowers and the other ones. So you did a really good job, Charlene. Congratulations on winning. Mm, let's get back all right so congratulations to all the winners and remember that if you want to enter fan of the month all you got to do is go to color it.com or you can just send your uh, submission into um at into color it and you just put um, send it to support at color it.com and put fan of the month submission and they will get you set up all right, we have the second winner for tonight. And remember, the prize is Colorful Seasons Coloring Book. And the winner is Mamie Hickstead. So congratulations, Mamie. I know you're going to really enjoy that book. All you got to do is um, send an email to support at colorit.com. Tell them that you won one of the drawings. So thank you for sharing and congratulations on winning. Okay, let me look at my little list here that I got going. Okay. All right, so let's talk about Freebie Friday. We are going to be coloring. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over. We are going to be coloring out of cats, kittens, and wild cats. And if, again, if you want um, Freebie Friday, you can go to www.colorit.com slash cat and fish. And you can download the page now if you want. And then you can also go to colorit.com and sign up for their newsletter so that you can get the Freebie Fridays automatically sent to you. And then you can color it with me. So let's get this set up. Now, as you can see, I've already started. I started using um, the color colored pencils 
And if you want to know the colors, I have them wrote down. Um, let me see. I got on the cat, it's Mindful Brown, which is C051. We got Blue Wave, which is C001. Clear Blue, which is C028. Zesty Orange, which is C010. And we have, uh, I use Creative Green for the eyes, which is CO61, and Millennium Black. I outlined some of the parts of the fish with that, and that's C032. So, what I'm going to be doing tonight is I'm going to be using um, the watercolor brush set to finish my work. And let's see, I got my little swatch here. And I'm going to go with um, Sweet Ginger C152. So let me see what we got. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to go right here and I'm just going to start filling this in and you can see it goes right with the colored pencil so and I went ahead and I did the the outlines because I'm still practicing with these um, brushes and so sometimes my my edges can get a little messed up so that's why I went ahead and I started with the brush set so as you can see color it's they always have a match to their colors so if they have it in a pencil they're gonna most likely have it in either a gel pen or a marker so it always goes really well together so, Jeremiah, can you tell me some of the people who are tuning in today? Um, um, Jonathan. We got Jonathan, hello. Um, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Robin. Hello, Robin. Sweet Pea. Hi, Sweet Pea. Um, Sandy. Sandy, hello. And, um, Judy. Hello, Judy. So, is anybody else out there coloring the same picture tonight? And if you are, what, what, what are you using? Are you using gel pens or are you using markers? What are you doing tonight? Anybody? Is anybody coloring the picture? I noticed that some people had already posted in the coloring group. Some really good pictures as always and you can see how quick that dries I mean that's already dry most of it this it's just a really good job go ahead and um, Audrey is um, printing it right now Audrey you're gonna print it right now good I can't wait to see it and Jonathan says love the pick don't have book yet so can't color it right now, sad face. Aw, well Jonathan, remember you can go to colorit.com and sign up for their newsletters. And then if you have a printer, you can print it out. But if not, put it on your wish list and I'm sure you'll be able to get it soon. Jonathan's been coloring a lot. He's been posting a lot in the coloring group. Doing, he was on a roll the other day, I told him. I don't know how people can color so fast, but I can see with these watercolor pens how quickly you could get a picture done. I like that they don't leave streaks. It just blends really nice. And Angel, I think that is, um, she says, have to put it out later, eating raisin bran and watching you, Nyla. Aw, thank you. I love cereal at night. I don't know about anybody else, but 
sometimes I just don't feel like a big meal and I just want to come home and just something easy. And then sometimes as a snack, as before I go to bed, if I get hungry, I don't want to eat anything real bad, so I'll, I'll eat some cereal. I'm going to take another drink here. Sorry. Um, Judy says, um, punting it now, and Jonathan says, don't have a punter. Oh. Thanks, Judy, for printing it. I can't wait to see how yours turns out. Jonathan, I don't know if this works where you're at, but I used to go to the library, and they would print out my color pictures, my pictures that I would color for me. So you might want to check that in. They have an app. I know my library has an app. And you download the app and then you send your picture and then you go to the library you show them your library card and they print it out it costs like 10 cents for each picture but it's one way to do it sometimes we don't have the money for a whole book so it's a good way to get those pictures so that you can you can you don't have to miss any Don says when you're sick you color more that's true. When I'm sick, Don, I color a lot too. And I think a lot of people I've been noticing having the flu. So, yep. Coloring is good anytime when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're sick. You can color, it's always there waiting for you. So, I'm really liking this. Pen, it's our brush pen. I really like it a lot. This would have took me forever to color if I would have used just solely pencils. This is going on really well. And well, again, the color is um, sweet ginger. And Cindy um says I'm I'm coloring this one too and using mochas and pencils. All right, can't wait to see yours, Cindy. Judy says we have six inches of snow in the last hour. Oh my goodness, Judy, where are you from? I was really surprised it started snowing here in Missouri because I just thought we were going to have this polar vortex or whatever. But then all the, I was at my hair appointment and all of a sudden I saw snow coming down. I was like, what? No, but six inches, that is a lot. All right, what do I want to do next? I'm going to do the water. And let me look at my sheet here. I'm going to start out with bashful blue right there. And that's C126. Let's see if I can find it. All right, found it. Just going to go right in here and wherever I left off with the color pencil, I'm going to cover that. And um, Sandy, I think, says, how did you outline the fish bowl and the fish? I used um, the color it, colored pencils. And let me look at the colors. I got it wrote down. Um, the, for the fish, I outlined him, him in zesty orange, and for the um, the the bowl, I used a couple different blues there at the bottom. I used uh, blue wave C six uh, blue wave C zero zero one and clear blue C zero two eight. So, like I was saying, I uh, I like to go in with my colored pencil first because I'm not a professional with this brush yet. So I still, I get out of lines. Jonathan says, I'm, I'm loving where I live, never get snow, lol. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty lucky. I don't mind snow that much, as long as I don't have anywhere to be. <laughs> but it seems like we always have some place to be but I don't mind it. They're pretty good where we live about getting it all scooped up. It's just the bitter cold that's that's hard, you know, the kind that you, when you step outside it hits your face and it feels like 
you're getting tons of needles in your skin. Um, Sandy, um, Sandy says, I'm from Sandy Creek, um, NY, so New York, and we are supposed to get three to five feet of snow from now to Friday morning. Oh. So you've already got six, six, and then now you're going to get a bunch more. Wow. You're going to be digging your guys' self out for a while. This is a first year here in Missouri that we've had enough snow to do anything with. My son went out and built, or well, he tried to build a snowman, but it didn't work. So him and his dad had a snowball fight instead. But it's been a long time since we've had this much snow all at once here in Missouri. And this is the first time we've had a polar vortex in a long, long time. I can't even remember the last time we had one. Or, you know, I don't remember. They, maybe they called it something different. Maybe they just called it a really cold day. But it was cold. You can always tell it's cold outside when you let the dogs out and they get their job done very quickly. So with these watercolor brushes, as you can see, you know, I'm going in all kinds of different directions, but it really doesn't show. It doesn't, you know, have the streaks in it. It blends really well on the color of paper. And, um, and, um, Ella and, um, Beverly don't have, um, brush pens. Oh. Well, you have to put those on your wish list. Because they are quite fun to color with. Some days, you know, I'm just, I'm in the mood for something kind of easy, like, you know, the, the watercolor. And then sometimes I really want the picture to have a lot of details. And so I'll use the, the gel pens or the pencils. So, but you can color in with whatever you have. Just make sure that you send your picture in and let us know that it's a freebie Friday. And hopefully we'll get to see it next week. Robin says, send me some snow, LOL. <laughs> Robin wants snow. I think uh, those in New York will be gladly share. All right, so I got my bowl done. Next, I think I'm going to use for the fish, I'm going to try this um, trusty tangerine and see how it lays down. And then if not, I'll probably use the outspoken orange. Let me see if we have another winner. Not yet. John says I've got I've got mine for Christmas, but have not used them yet. Well, now you have a good excuse to get them out and use them, Don. Okay, so this doesn't exactly go with the orange that I put down, but I'm gonna go ahead and get most of it anyway, and then I'm gonna use the other orange, I think. I was gonna make this like a, a Nemo fish, make it orange and white. Um, Erin, I think, says Siamese cats are the best. Siamese cats, Aaron, are very pretty. I always wanted one when I was growing up. They have those blue eyes. I used to be a cat person, but I, for some reason, I guess because my son wanted a dog, so now we're dog people. Yep. We have two dogs. So, but I always, I've always liked cats. And Siamese, they're very pretty cats. All right, so. Penny says, I love the one you have. I love that color. Thank you, Penny. So what kind of cats do you guys, do you guys have any cats? I know Jennifer has all kinds of cats. Oh, wait a minute. We've got our third winner. Okay, so our third winner for tonight, who they win the Colorful Seasons coloring book, 
Our third winner is Judy Hild. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that last name right, but color it, we'll put it on the, on the chat. But congratulations, Judy, you have just won Colorful Seasons Coloring Book. So all you have to do is go to, um, is send an email to support at coloritcom and let them know that you won on Color It Live so that they can send you out that Colorful Seasons Coloring Book as soon as possible. All right, back to our coloring. Hope you guys are having fun. Kathy says we have three cats and two dogs. All right, that's a lot. Three cats and two dogs. I bet you they keep you nice and busy. Kathy? I used to have a Himalayan cat. Jonathan says, I have a pure white Persian cat. Oh, Jonathan, that sounds beautiful. Pure white per Persian. Bet you can't wear a lot of black around them, though, huh? <laughs> Oh, it got out of the lines a little bit. No worries. Robin says it's 20, negative 20 degrees with wind chill here in Dalton. Who was that again? Um, Robin. Robin. Wow. I don't know what it was here in Missouri the last time I checked. It, I just know that it was really cold. So I hope everyone is staying warm and cozy, drinking maybe some hot chocolate and coloring their cat and their fish tonight with me. Maybe you even have a cat curled up on your lap all nice and cozy, kind of helping you keep warm. Lisa's, Lisa says, um, what happened to Erica? Um, Erica is doing good she's doing really good um they're gonna be making appearances every once in a while so don't worry you're not completely stuck with me but for the most part it's gonna be me doing color it live from now on and if you guys have anything that you know you want announced or said let us know but um yes erica is doing fine she's just um kind of busy doing other things right now they're always trying to think of things that they can bring to their color at family so they can always give us something different to work on. So that orange actually blended, I think, really well with the, the pencil that I used earlier. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Let me just put that up there. But yeah, it looks really good. I like how these brush pens are blending. It's really nice. Robin says we have our neighbors of cat, our neighbors, neighbor cats, have of about 10 cats. Oh my goodness, 10 cats. That is a lot of cats. All right, the thing I'm going to do next is the rocks. What colors do you guys think I should do the rocks? Does anybody have any ideas for me? Maybe do one with, this one is Witty Raspberry. So I'll color a couple stones with it. Aylin says gray. Gray stones. Okay, I'll put one of those on there. Thank you, Aaron. A Aylin also said pink. Loving the pink. Penny said blue. Blue, okay. Debbie Wait. said gray. Okay, there's another vote for gray. I think um, I think it's Michael or Mitchell said um, gray and black. Vivian said rainbow colors. I kind of like that idea, Vivian. I think I'll do more than just a few. I'll do a, a bunch of different colors. Lillian says pink. This is kind of a pink. It's more like a pinkish red. Sweet Pea says nine colors for the box. Neon, Don said, neon colors. Don said dark blue. Okay, let me find the gray. Aaron said um, you could do rainbow gravel. Yeah, they do have rainbow gravel, don't they? 
So here's this gray. It's not showing up too good, but I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with the gray is I'm gonna outline my bowl. Cindy says um, I'm doing my Vox teal and purple. Of course. Cindy, purple and teal. And Erin says green for the background. Definitely, green would look good. It would make the, the eye of the cat really stand out. So, okay, there is gray. And I think someone said pink, so let me get another pink out. This, in, this one is called Lovely Lilac. So <laughs> it's not exactly pink. It's kind of a pinkish purple. Sandy says bright pink in all caps. And Debbie said, you silver. Silver. All right, let me see here. All right, I don't think we have silver. I don't have my gel pens out, but that would look really pretty in a fishbowl, having that glitter. That would look really pretty, the silver in it. Judy says, what do I do co to collect my book? I was away from the communal computer when you said okay so judy you are a winner for tonight what you need to do is just send an email to support at color it.com and tell them that you were a winner on color it live and they will send out your book and congratulations bob says i'm from canada my son knows some people from uh, he has a friend in canada yep Bet you it's pretty cold there too. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. The color of this one is sharp indigo. Aaron says pink nose. Pink, oh, I, you know, I hadn't even noticed Aaron. I didn't notice the cat's nose. I can't leave it white. And Ellen said, I made the box gray. I think a lot of people would make them gray because that's usually what rocks are, but I'm gonna go with a rainbow effect on my fishbowl. Debbie says, first time watching. I love this. Aw, welcome, Debbie. I love that your first time is with me. That's great. I hope you're, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Let's see. My next color I'm going to use is Tempting Turquoise. So this might be the teal for Cindy. And it's kind of a teal. Not really, but it's pretty. Sweet Pea says, you're doing great. Love it. Thank you, Sweet Pea. I really, really enjoy coloring. And when they asked me to do Color It Live, I was like, definitely. I mean, because I get to talk for a whole hour about coloring. I mean, it's the best job in the world. And all of you Color It fans, all you Color It studs and Color Its make this job so much fun. I love that you're sticking around and you're making comments. This makes it even more fun for everybody. Nancy says, I'm late, but better late than not at all. I agree, Nancy. I'm glad that you were able to make it. Welcome to Color It Live. Sweet Pea says, you're very welcome. Thanks, Sweet Pea. You guys are so nice. So... Let me look here. I'm always checking my phone, waiting for that fourth winner of the colorful seasons. Angel says, "Look, looks beautiful so far, Nyla. Thank you, Angel. I will do my best to make sure I finish it and let you guys see it. They posted my uh, last week's, they posted it on colorit.com, so if you wanna see how it turned out, you can go there. Aaron says watercolor brush pens. Yes, I keep saying, calling them the wrong thing, don't I? I already used sharp indigo. I wanted to use a different kind of purple. Yep. Bob says you're doing a good job, Jeremiah. Thank you. <laughs> Jeremiah really was excited when he found out he was going to get to co-host. He said last time I talked too much and he couldn't get a word in edgewise. Yep. So I told him he needs to speak up. All right, I got to do that cat nose, like Aaron said. Let's see. I think I'm going to do 
I think I'm going to do positive peach first. Dawn says AJ and Erica did not leave health issues. Uh, well, yeah, no, they didn't. They didn't leave. They're still out there. You'll see him from time to time. Marge says, did you get my questions? Marge, your questions? I don't know if I got them or not. And Christian, Chris, Kristen says he great Zoltan predicts I am your winner. Ah, you predict your winner? Well, we will shall see. They should be telling me any minute who the fourth and final winner is. Okay, I'm going to use this lovely lilac to kind of go in with the, the pink and add a little bit of shading to it. Robin says... Um, we need to, we need to have another traveling book like them to take to appointments. That's a good idea. They do have a traveling size mandala book. So, um, yeah, it would be good to have maybe another themed traveling book, um, to go along with it. All Cindy right. Cindy says, are they coming back, coming out with a new book? You never know. They're working on something. So you never know quite what they're going to come up with. But you got to stick with us and find out. And Nancy's basically asking a different question, the same question, but um, a different way. She says, when is another book coming out? I don't know. I'm not in that loop, unfortunately. But I know that they are always working on something trying to keep their color fans happy. And for the ears, I'm using Positive Peach again. Um, Sweet Pea says, yay, can't wait to see. I love drawing and coloring. I may not enter all the time, but I try to when I can. I just get really busy with school and all. Smiley face. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes it's pretty hard to, you know, work in some coloring time, but I'm glad that you're able to work it in sometimes. Cause I know for me, it's something that it really re relaxes me and I really enjoy just sitting down, coloring and watching TV with my family. So that's good that you're able to. Lisa says, pick me please. Unfortunately, I can't decide, but we'll see. Let me look again, still haven't announce the fourth winner Nancy says thank you for reading my comment that's his job Nancy yep Jeremiah's job is to make sure everybody Ella says I need a new book pick me <laughs> all right we got the fourth winner let's see who it is let me get back here don't know who I'm rooting, rooting for all right, fourth winner of Colorful Seasons Coloring Book goes to Ella May Martin. So Ella May, congratulations. You have just won the fourth Colorful Seasons Coloring Book. So make sure you send a email to support at colorit.com and they will ship that book right out to you make sure you put on there that you won you are a winner on color it live all right so that's gonna be it for this week thank you guys so much for coming and talking and and sharing this time with me i really enjoyed it there's my son jeremiah it's about ready for his bedtime but anyway congratulations to the four winners and congratulations to the winners of the december Fan of the Month contest. Those were awesome pictures. You guys deserve the $25 gift certificate, and I know you'll find all kinds of things to spend it on. So tune in next week, um, and we will be doing the uh, freebie Friday that you get this Friday. So if you are not getting them, just go to colorit.com, sign up for their newsletter, and they will start sending you the freebie Fridays. So thank you all very much for attending and listening and keeping everything uh, going. It really is nice when people make comments and have suggestions and 
I'm, I'm an open book, so just let me know. Um, so thank you and have a wonderful night and make sure that you free your creativity. Thank you.